November evening. If you are watching on replay, why not give the video a thumbs up? There will be videos coming up from Lapland. The New York series is going to continue um, just for a couple more videos, okay? But Lapland videos are coming up and so many more videos. Anyway, um, I thought I would start the live where I am actually staying at the moment. Oh, hang on. I've got a bit of extra light here. Put this on. I've been charging this for ages. Now, the problem I've got is that um, hopefully, battery-wise, um, it will be good because the cold does weird things to phone batteries. I hope you're all nice and warm. It is minus six here in Lapland. It has been minus 20. I arrived yesterday um, to minus 20. It has got so much warmer. Um, <laughs> to minus six which means snow is on the way I think the snow is almost starting to fall a little bit it has also been very windy so I can only apologize um, if it gets a little bit breezy on the live stream okay just stick with it now it'd be great to get to a thousand thumbs up for the live stream or if not more it just shows YouTube that you're enjoying the video and pushes it out to more of my subscribers I have got my woolly hat I've got my gloves I've got my thermal shoes my thermal boots my thermal socks my thermal underwear but I am wearing jeans but I've got my heated jacket on baby there we go by the way I will put the link up for this and I'm not affiliated with them at all but so many people have been asking for this particular heated jacket because it does look really trendy. Hey, Ben, thank you so much for your, um, your super chat. Can you say hello to my wife, Nick? Hello, Nick. Hope you're doing okay. So tonight we are going to be walking around the home of Santa Claus here in Rovanemi um, in Lapland. Obviously, the home of Santa Claus is Rovanemi in Lapland. Um, now, what's really good about coming here is that Ryanair have just started doing flights here this year so you can actually come to Lapland now so much cheaper than you probably could have ever done before I was here last year by the way I will catch up with any super chats and super stickers in a moment and some of the chat I was here last year doing a live just probably a week earlier so I thought I would come back now unfortunately Gabby and Casper were supposed to join me but we had a right nightmare at the airport. We found out that Gabby's passport was out of date, even though it wasn't, but it was with Ryanair's standards. Um, so yeah, and I didn't want to leave Gabby at the gate, so I went home. I missed a day, and then I flew out yesterday. And literally, I'm here for 24 hours to film the videos that I was planning to do. So it has been non-stop crazy busy. Um, I've literally just finished filming my video um, well, I haven't finished filming it, but I just finished filming having some food in the restaurant um, before we do the live. By the way, I'm staying in a glass igloo. And I tell you now, last night I got to see the northern lights. We won't see them tonight just because it's too cloudy, unless it breaks, which I don't think it's going to do because snow is on the way. Uh, but you'll be able to see that on the website. Um, so, yeah, come with me as we walk around. Um, the home of Santa Claus here in Movenemi. Honestly, if you've never seen where Santa is, if you ever do a day trip from the UK, right, and you fly out one of the local airports, this is probably most likely where you're likely to come. It is like a commercial area, everything is overpriced, but it is also very beautiful. So once again, we're gonna walk from where I'm staying. There is a little bit of a dark area just up here, but I have got my torch, so don't worry. You can then keep them protected. We'll walk past some lovely houses. We might hear the huskies, they're still up. And then of course, we'll walk on to um, Santa's Village. Now, um, Lapland is two hours ahead. So it's uh, just five minutes past 10 here at the minute. So um, it's going to be very quiet. So when you start thinking, wow, that is quiet for Lapland, it's because it's just past 10 o'clock at night and most people are <laughs> probably inside by their fireplaces keeping warm right here comes the hat and i apologize about this hat it is not very trendy but it is to keep me warm and to keep my ears warm right i'll do some of the chats as well i've got to keep one pair of gloves off to do this so this is going to be uh this is interesting by the way that's the back of the chair 
<laughs> so this is the um, the hotel stroke restaurant that I've been staying in. I've got to take one glove off. I've got to do it, and then just keeping my hands in my pocket so I can keep up to date with the uh, with the chat. Christine, thank you so much for being a channel member for twenty months. Uh, so is Catherine, be a channel member for three months. So thank you so much for that. I will, of course, keep up to date with the chat. Yes, it's not Hollister. The jacket that I'm wearing is not Hollister. It is super dry. I know, I do wear other clothes. Not very often, but I do. So these little glass igloos is where I am currently staying. They are very cute. They are very cosy and the whole of the design of them is that you get to see the northern lights so that you see the rooftops there there's curtains around the side to protect your modesty and then you've got the sky open the only problem is is that when it gets light it wakes you up but then it doesn't get light until 10 a.m here in Lapland Right, Maureen, hello to Janice. Sorry if I've been a little bit behind. Can we say hello to the mods in the chat right now? There has been a lot of snow here in Lapland at the minute. You might be able to see the um, snow started to come down. Again, I can only apologize about the wind. We're gonna get some windy bits. And this is most notably just around here. Uh, good evening, Mike. Hope you're doing okay. Exploring with wheels. Nikki, super dry is very good. You are correct. It is waterproof. Paraki, thank you very much for your eight month channel membership. Did you get your, where did you get? Yeah, I'll put the, uh, the link up to that. You can see the snow starting to come down a little bit now, actually. This is probably one of my favorite areas to walk. You can't really see it, but there's lowly, loads of um, snow covered trees over there. Hello to Lisa, hello to Emma. I would love to go to Lapland, but it is so expensive. Emma, yes, as I was just saying, Ryanair now uh, flies here. The flight that I booked cost me 60 quid on the way out and 70 quid on the way back. I will be going to the famous webcam that people like to tune into when they see Lapland. Fraser Casper would love this, unfortunately due to what happened he couldn't be here but he was supposed to be here by the way if you love the sound of snow enjoy thank you laura i appreciate that watching from the hot tub tonight i've got a hot tub myself laura i'm gonna head in there afterwards <laughs> just to warm myself up i do prefer snow tina i've got to be honest i don't know who this house belongs to but it is absolutely gorgeous i so want to be in it right now the Finnish know how to um, to live their houses, especially in the winter. I mean, they're, they're always just so festive, always lights in the window. And I found this out from somebody, apparently. Lights in the window in Finland is, it was an olden day thing to help people who were out in a blizzard to find their houses. So although it does look pretty, there is a, there is a reason for it. I think I can turn my light off now, hang on. Barry, thank you so much for your super chat. I appreciate that. It looks so unreal. It is, it is just like, if you could imagine what it would look like, <laughs> it is exactly like that. It's even better to see it in real life than it is on a movie or a TV show. I first came here on a day trip from Norwich. I was blown away. We didn't actually come here. We actually went further north because we couldn't land at the airport because it was too snowed up. Unbelievable. Hopefully the wind has subsided a little bit now. We are walking into the main Santa's uh, village just up ahead. This is just where I've been staying at the moment. Yes, be prepared for Christmas. I know that uh, it is only November, but be prepared for lots of Christmas trees. Uh, Lynn, thank you so much for your little super chat. Sarah, also thank you so much for yours. And Craig, that is very kind of you. Looks great. <coughs> Thumpy's having fun tonight with his granddad. I know, I heard. <laughs> uh, Baza, thank you so much for your super chat as well. 
Uh, ben, hi Tim, love your videos. Can you say hello? Oh, I've already said that. Hello to wife, uh, Nick. I hope you have a fantastic adventure. Well, you're all coming with me. Obviously the video will be coming out very soon. But uh, there's still a couple of videos to come from New York. So just remember that. The reason why I did this was because I was here and I know a lot of people said, are oh, you going to go live from that plan? Because we do like it. Obviously the second time here in two years. So I, um, I thought I've got to do it really. Pike got a trike is here. Hello. Hand dryers, lifts and checkouts by L Ivan or Law. Hello, Foxy B. Uh, Julie, have a wave to Julie. This is where the Huskies are. They're all very quiet right now, but the Huskies sleep in here. Down here. And if we can hear any of them, I don't think we can. Now, I bet you all the fires have been extinguished. Normally, they're still like, uh, they're still going. There's a fire in there going on. Hi Tim, I'm in Helsinki, not too far away. <laughs> Love the New York videos. The plaza, what a rip off. Tell me about it. So we're gonna do a loop of Santa's village. I'll come this way. Danny, check me out in Skegness. They are quiet because they are huskies. Barry, they are very, very noisy normally, uh, but they're all asleep right now. Uh, Emma, Tim, uh, thank you so much for your little super sticker. I appreciate it. Oh, it's so cold. Honestly, yesterday when I arrived, the temperature, I've been here when it's been minus 20. There was no wind, but I tell you, I, I didn't wear gloves as soon as I came out of the airport because I had to just get something out of the bag. I was not wearing any gloves just for all the space of, I don't know, a couple of minutes, and my hands were hurting. They were so cold. Hey, Ben, good to see you. The funniest thing you'll ever see is Santa's pizza and burger. They even... Have a drive-in? What? This isn't real, this is... They really have a drive-in? Hey Lisa, thanks for your super sticker. This can't be working, surely. <laughs> Even Santa gets a drive-through. Lulu, the name of the place is Rovanemi. It's in Lapland. So when you come here, there is uh, this pizza and burger place just here. Santa's Pizza and Burger. Look at this. This wall is made out of snow. Rock solid. There was the Coca-Cola truck here the other week. It really was. Now, if anybody has got a little bit of spare cash, right, and they want to have the ultimate luxury Christmas getaway, stay here for two nights, six grand, a group of seven people can stay in luxury in Santa's boutique villa. Now, I don't believe that there's anybody booked these out at the minute, so I'm going to just show you around the front, which I saw earlier on. You have to see this. I hope no one's in anyway. No, they're not. So, there's two villas. This one's downstairs. It has a bedroom, a living room, sauna, hot tubs and all that. And look at that. They've got a Christmas tree and a sofa in there. Oh, it is so festive. I love your videos, Tim. I wish I could go abroad, but I can't. I still don't have it because I'm 12 and still don't have a passport. Oh, bless you. I remember being 12. <laughs> Feels like yesterday. Last year when I slept in the ice bed, of course, was not in Lapland. This was in, um, this was further north. And if you like snow, 
Uh, this time next week, I'm flying off to feature a video from the most northern hotel in the world. A place where you can't walk out in the streets unless you've got a gun. Not because it's rough, but because of polar bears. And that's crazy. Just gonna catch up with some of the chat. Uh, Alana, can you say hello to my mam, Charlene? <laughs> Thanks very much. Jamie, thank you very much for your little super sticker. Selena has been a channel member for 15 months and so's Mark for 26 months. Wow. Barry, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for a warming refreshment. And Lynn, thank you as well. Very kind. Right, we'll walk, we'll walk this way, shall we? Let's have, a, let's have a nosy up here. And what's great is if you are staying here, all this is on all night long. So you can walk around here to your heart's content. Thanks, Ben. You're, you're famous in my workplace because I religiously watch you every day. Look at this up here, though, for a coffee. And a view. What's actually funny is that I came up here today for a coffee. Everybody sits inside. Nobody sits out here. But I did. I persevered. I don't know if you can hear that. Just, I don't want to be demonetized, but can you hear music? Listen to that. By the way, if an advert pops up, I apologize. YouTube's got this new thing with streaming now where you can't really turn it off if you want to monetize the video. So just bear that in mind, and I do apologize if one does pop up. Look at the snow on the roof. By the way, Foxy B, can we have a signal check, please, from Lapland? Are we good? Is the signal all right? You can just about hear it. It's weird because it's just like, it's almost like also from a horror movie because you can just gently hear Christmas music, but there's no one else around. The signal is fine. Uh, come to the Isle of Wight, definitely planning to do that. Don't worry. Uh, Rich, can you give me a shout out? I just did, hello Rich. There is a McDonald's in Lapland. It is the most northern McDonald's in the entire world. By the way, this is just how cold it is. The snow freezes, the frost freezes for days. There is snow forecast later tonight. In fact, I think it's going to start about 11 o'clock. So we may, um, we may see it. Remember, we're two hours in front of the UK. It's now 20 past 10 here in Lapland. And my fingers are blooming freezing. And I'm having to hold the phone and also, so just bear in mind if I'm a little bit delayed with some of the super chats and the messages, okay? So just bear with me. Christmas trees are up and possibly the biggest snowman you have ever seen in your life. I thought this was fake, but this is real. Would you try Copenhagen, Ben? Definitely. So this is one famous landmark of Ravanemi and in Lapland. Thousands of people check out the webcam from all over the world and they stand there and look at their phones whilst they check themselves out on the webcam that's where the music's coming from that little speaker up there but all these are like little touristy shops and to be honest I would um, say that bring a lot of money with you because little trinkets in there are fortunate I mean I know it might be nice just to get something from Lapland but wow once again it looks very quiet because it's 20 past 10 in the evening and people are indoors by the fire and there is the temperature. There is the famous webcam. It is just up there. And that's what people see as they, on the webcam. And I do it, sad as it sounds, even on Christmas Eve, I look back on the webcam to see the temperature, to see the snow, and see people going to see the big man himself. Uh, Funky's been a channel member for six months now, wow. Uh, Jaden takes the train, thanks very much for your super chat, huge fan here, you should have used some sleeper trains in Europe, they're amazing. There is an Arctic um, uh, sleeper train that apparently is quite good. Uh, Optics Kills, thanks so much for your super chat. Dan Coys, 
Evening team, enjoying the videos as always. I appreciate that. Okay, hang on. Should we see if he's in? I did this last year. It'd be hilarious if he actually answers. Now, if you come here on a day trip, just be prepared for the queues to go and see Santa. It's, um, it gets very busy. This building is beautiful. And all the buildings here are really just like the, the movie, Santa Claus the movie, the old fashioned one. You know, the red wood and everything. It's obviously closed. Santa, are you here? I've been a good boy, let me in. <laughs> oh, yeah, minus six, so it is blooming cold. And what people like to do is they like to stand on the edge of the Arctic Circle. So when you, I think it's the other side. So when you stand, for example, this side, you're not in the Arctic, but when you cross over this line, we're now in the Arctic Circle. So people like to do that and step over and say that they've uh, just stepped foot into the Arctic Circle. How cold does it get? Well, I've been here and it's been minus 20. I was speaking to my Uber driver today who said he's seen minus 36. Oh, and by the way, Uber has arrived in Lapland. <laughs> it's been here for a week now Uber in Lapland I love that shot that is, that is what you call a huge lantern look at that I can only apologise about the wind I do have a muff on but the other muff is unexposed because of the, um, the camera because the muff is uh, the microphone is here Famous Roosevelt Cottage. Now when Lapland first came a thing and people visited, this was one of the first buildings that was here. It's so small, but it's now a little shop. But this is on the main road, of course. And uh, this is where people would stop and that's how it kind of all started. Look at all this, this is, this is real ice, obviously not fake. It just obviously doesn't melt and just they carve and just it just stays there. Beautiful. This used to be a popular salmon spot where you could get real fresh cooked salmon. And something new is coming here. It's uh, all about the salmon. There is something about Christmas lights in the snow that are just so beautiful. Do you not think? Benedict. Give us a wave, Tim. I've, have I just missed that? Please say hello to Kieran. What's your favourite Christmas movie? I have too many to actually mention. Let's just get um, a little bit of a perspective about where we are then. So London from here is 22,060 kilometres away, or 2,260 kilometres away. New York is 6,204 kilometers away. Moscow is 100, and, is 13,000, uh, 130, no, 1,368 kilometers away. <laughs> Don't worry if you missed that, we will, we will walk back up that way as well. So, yeah, some little shops around here, which is quite nice. Oh, it always happens on the live. The chat starts to just stop and then I have to keep going back into it. From New York to Lapland, definitely. I can't believe that that Santa is still here. In Lapland, they really need to sort that out because that is not good. I mean, look at his arm. I mean, that's a little bit better. See what I mean about gifts that you'll probably absolutely spend a fortune on? Although that does look pretty cool to be fair. So, sorry if I'm a little bit behind on the chat. I'm using my finger now because the chat has frozen on my blooming phone. It always does this, it's so annoying. 
So yeah, make sure you have uh, subscribed if you haven't already to see more of the videos coming up from New York and Lapland and Winter Wonderland. I know that's pretty delayed this year. Make a complaint to who? Hello from New Jersey. How you doing? Hey Tim, love that plan. Have you ever had a snow jobby in a snow job? Snow, is that rude? Or no, I don't know. Am I reading that wrong? There's a lot of people that work in that plan actually from the UK doing tours and noise. Oh, that's the wind going through those. It sounds like a drill, doesn't it? Again, sorry about the wind, everyone. It gets a little bit confusing because there's so many different areas where you can actually meet Santa, but the main one is where I uh, knocked on the door. Yes, my fingers are out, because I have to use the chat. Sam says my sister is working there right now. <laughs> nice one, Sam. What is she doing? There's 2,333 people watching. Do give the video a thumbs up. Can we see if we can break over a 1,000? Janice. Uh, Janice, thank you so much for the super chat. So, tell me if you've decided to put your Christmas tree up yet. I still can't do it until... I never used to do it until after my birthday, which is on the <laughs> 12th of December. But um, since meeting Gabby, we kind of do it on the 1st now that I still can't put it up before December. It still feels almost wrong. I'm gonna show you some uh, accommodation that you can stay in. This is where I stayed last year, and these are really lovely. In fact, I prefer these to where I'm staying right now. Uh, my daughter took her children last year. They loved it from Brisbane. Hello, Wendy in the chat, Tracy. Also, Leslie's here. Hello to Jenny, Andrew, Amy. Hey Tim, it's Amy, I'm 13 years old and I would love to say hi to me and my dad. Our names are Amy and Simon. We watch your videos every single night. Thanks Amy. You watch them on repeat then? I don't put that many videos now. <laughs> Kevin, love the videos you film. Can you say hello to Rebecca who's watching this live uh, uh, very enviously. How am I going to get over here? Hang on. Oh, the, cl the, sky the clouds, I don't know if you can see it, the clouds are clearing a little bit. This camera should pick up the northern lights if they uh, do come out. The problem is though, it's a full moon, so it makes it actually harder to see. I don't know if there is a ditch here, so I don't know whether I can actually walk across this. Because I've got to be careful, because I don't want to... This snow can also be a lot deeper than you realise. Oh, people have been walking across here, so I should be all right. Famous last words. Hello, Nina. Tim, you look cold. I haven't put the camera on me yet since the beginning. You really don't want to see what I look like right now. I'm wearing a hat. My nose, is face is red. Uh, Charlie, hi Tim, love your videos. Will you be, where will you be visiting after that planned? Well, as I said, um, I'll be coming home for a little while and then um, next weekend doing a little bit of a mammoth task actually to get to Yonyibin, which is um, very far north from here, even closer to the North Pole, where I'm visiting the most northern hotel in the entire world. So this is Santa's, um, Santa's village, 
all these lovely little cottages that you can stay in they are so cute all these are booked out for december now because i felt really bad that gabby uh, couldn't come with me and obviously devastated and obviously casper who was supposed to be here but can't so i thought well let's see if we can get a deal maybe but no these are all booked out now until january every single one But anyone that says to you, oh, it's all commercialised, yes, this area is commercialised, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it is still beautiful. All these cottages have their own Christmas trees and their own little balconies. I'm trying to find the one I stayed in last year. This is sad that I'm doing this. Come on, don't tell me that you've never gone on holiday and gone back to the place where you've been before. I think this was mine. Can we see the Northern Lights there? Am I going crazy on the camera? Or is that a light, maybe? Oh yeah, I think it is a light. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Sorry if you got an advert then. Come on, let's get over a thousand thumbs up. Yeah, so these are beautiful. I can tell when we get an advert because I lose about four or 500 people. Right, I'm going to just walk around something called Snowman World, which opens up in December. Again, I'm gutted that I missed it, because last year it opened up earlier, and I thought, well, I'll be able to time that right. They've got an ice bar in there. They've got a uh, an ice restaurant, which is pretty fancy. And also, so much fun for adults and kids to go tubing. Yes, Rebecca, I was saying this before, I did say brace yourself. It's every 30 minutes, this is the least that I can do um, when you monetize the live stream. This snow is pretty deep, hang on. Nearly a thousand thumbs up. It helps the video out. Even if you're watching on replay, do hit that thumbs up. I hope you're enjoying the walk around tonight of Lapland. Look how high that is. Now, that has been built up of snow. And they have these snow cannons to make even more snow because they build the, uh, the restaurant and the bar all out of snow and ice. Can you say congratulations, Christmas baby Harlow Ray? Daniel has just become a channel member. Walk with me advance. Have you met the big guy in red yet? No, I haven't. <clears throat> Janice, thank you so much for your super chat. I appreciate that. And Craig, that is very kind of you. Have a hot cocoa. Sorry I'm a little bit behind with that. I will, uh, I've had a couple of, uh, of hot cocos. You have to get in the mood. Do you know, the only thing that bummed me out a little bit was with flying with Ryanair, it wasn't very Christmassy. Like when I flew with EasyJet, they were actually quite in a festive mood and they said, welcome to Lapland. And with Ryanair, the guy could not pronounce Rovanemi correctly. And he just went, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rovanemi. That wasn't the captain either. That was the, the guy who, uh, I, I don't know what his technical name is. Chief Stew or, no, Stew? No, that's Boat. <clears throat> Look how pretty these are. Again, everything is an upsell, but you could have dinner in there. Looking out over the stars. Out to the stars, should I say. So yeah, that's, um, that's all been built out of snow. There's a main building there now, which wasn't there before, but all this is made of snow. And there's also a big like um, slide that goes around there as well. Yes, we've got a thousand thumbs up. Can we get to 2000 for a live stream? That would be epic.
It's something that YouTube is doing, Jill. It's brand new. Uh, Martin, watching from a lovely warm fjord of Ventura. <laughs> Using your video from back in the summer as a guide. I did that last autumn, actually. Hope you're having a good time, Martin. Uh, David's just switched on. There's Snowman World. So I'm just going to come up to my favourite part of Santa Claus Village. I love it. We're going to go to Mrs. Claus's house. And uh, the buildings here are just beautiful. Like I say, it does remind me of Santa Claus the movie. I'm so gutted Gabby should have been here with Casper. I know Gabby wouldn't want to be walking around this time of night. But everything is closed. It's now 20 to 11 here in Lapland. We're two hours ahead of the UK. This is where, if you come for the day, right, they will sell you on coming here, doing a reindeer trip, doing a husky dog ride, doing a snowmobile, and you can all do it in this resort. It's quite pricey, but when you do a reindeer ride, they don't take you into the wilderness. They literally just go around on a, a round track. So it's a little bit of a cop out. They normally have a fire there where you can just sit around and get warm whilst you're waiting for someone to go uh, up on the um, on the reindeer. Let's head to Mrs. Santa Claus's Christmas cottage. This is just beautiful. Thank you, Tracy. How cold is it? It's minus six. Guess you've just got a Hollister t-shirt on. No, I've got my heated jacket on though. Uh, Sean, hi Tim. Are uh, you, I think I've been watching for three years. I think I've been, no, I haven't been on YouTube three years just yet, have I? That'll be April. Crazy though. Thanks for the support, I appreciate it. Kazem is watching both Lapland webcams and this one also. I've got to try not slip down here because these are so slippy and I'm not actually looking at what I'm doing. Can you hear that? We can hear the huskies. Can you hear that in the distance? They're doing that little uh, crying little noise. You can actually book this out for a private company. Now, if you've seen Santa Claus the movie, right, tell me or tell me not, does this look like the house that uh, they're in? Because it is just like it. Even the... Um, the red on the wood by the windows, and you'll see that when we get up. Does it get busy during the day, John? Yes, it gets very busy. You just look, watch the webcam. It gets when all the um, the day trippers come. It gets very busy. So if you are staying here, um, best time to come out is after they've all gone. Did you come straight here from New York? No, I was at home for a couple of weeks or a week. Yes, it's going to get cold in the UK. There's even talk of snow I hear every time I've been to Lapland in my life. Whenever I've come back, there's always been talk of snow. Or there's been cold weather. It's weird. It's like I bring it back with me. This is my favourite building here in Lapland. This is actually Mrs. Santa Claus's place. And I wish I could show you inside because it is just as beautiful inside all out of wood and there's this wonderful little big room and there's this staircase that goes up and then you get into Mrs Claus's office just up there it is so nice and pretty you do feel like you're kid again even if you're a big adult Darren thanks very much for your super chat hello from Lincoln me and my partner Georgia watch your videos all the time we love you Gabby and Casper thank you so much let's have a look for the window Rebecca, we had our first bit of snow today. Rebecca, where were you? Where are you? Gabby has been a member for 27 months. Hi, Daddy. Lots of love. Casper. Have a jib, jib, jib. <laughs> Is he chatting, I guess? Bless him. I missed that. Sorry, I'm just... Uh... Thank you for the time, Phil. He's been a channel member for 10 months. Appreciate that. 
Thank you, Amy. Do Santa and his wife live separately? Miss Dog Lover. Well, it, no, I think they just have their, their own different offices. But this is um, Mrs. Claus's house. You should visit, uh, Amy, thanks very much. You should visit St. Ives in Cornwall. I am trying to get down to Cornwall. I keep do meaning to go down there, hopefully in the summer. The same is the same uh, for Isle of Wight, Jersey and Guernsey. I don't think there's anything else around the back here, is there? Apart from a lonely little Christmas tree. See, it's just not the same in the UK when we get a Christmas tree with lights on it without the snow. The look that you get with Christmas lights and snow as the lights bleed through the snow is just so beautiful. It's just a shame we don't get too much of it in the UK. Well, you do if you're in Scotland, if you're lucky. Somebody said, it's only minus six in Rovanemi. It has been minus 20. You know when it warms up in Rovanemi, it's going to snow, which is the case for apparently tonight and tomorrow. So if you're coming to Lapland, there's gonna be uh, a big fresh dumping of snow. Tina says, your job is awesome, Tim. Such a pleasure to watch, great videos. Thanks, Tina. And what is down there? How do I do? Oh, hang on. Whoa. Oh, for all those people that go on about um, coming to Lapland and it all being uh, slippery, it really isn't because all this snow is dry. So it almost acts like traction. You don't, it's not slippy whatsoever because there's not too much ice. Not at this time of year anyway. I have no idea where I'm going. Where are all the elves? They're busy working. Lisa, I'm staying in a glass house igloo, which you'll be able to see the video soon. Uh, Lewis, we're going to Lapland in December. Well, hope you have a great time. Hi, Tim from the Killock family. I know them. Hello, Craig. Nice to see you. Right, I'm gonna walk back up the other end now towards where the snowmobiles normally are. There's more Christmas trees around there. But if you ever do come and stay here, you know, really take the time, put, your, put some warm clothes on, get a hot chocolate, and come out here when everybody is gone. It is just the best time to walk around because you, you feel like you've got that planned all to yourself which makes it even more magical. So I hope you are enjoying this. I know there's uh, 2,400 people walking with us at any one time tuned in, but <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're here in the future, definitely do it. Signal Vine, thank you Foxy B for updating us. Wow, Hazel, I know, can you imagine? Um, what they do is um, they do winter berry, they do lots of berry, hot berry drinks here. Like even at the petrol station, where I went to get a snack when I arrived yesterday, because I'm only here literally for about 24 hours. Um, they had coffee, hot coffee, obviously they had tea, and they had all the different flavors of berry drinks, which is really nice. Thank you, Kaz T. Eugene is here. Eugene loves Tenerife. We don't care about Tenerife right now, Eugene. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have your 19 degrees. I want to be, well, I don't want to be cold, but I want to be in um, weather that's a bit more appropriate for this time of year. Thanks, Mrs. Claus, for the hospitality. I'll show you some of the uh, the restaurants up here as well. It is really spooky how like, there's just like two or three people walking around and that's about it. Karen, big hello Tim from Karen, Wilkinson and Graham in Atherington near Wigan. We love watching your videos, so informative. Thanks very much. We on the snow. No, I'm not gonna do that. Craig, yes, I'm home tomorrow. Literally, 
it is a bit of a uh, corny to say but a bit of a dream walking around here because I'm not here long enough to enjoy it I'm not here for a holiday you know I'm here to to film the videos that I was planning to do because the flights were so cheap I did say to Gabby uh, you and Casper should come out and Gabby was like oh I don't know because it's so cold and I said come on so she did and unfortunately it was everybody's worst nightmare we got to the gate at Stansted. We were the last people on the plane because Casper was running around, all excited, just to be told that Gabby was not allowed to fly because her passport, well, it's not expired, it's out of date. You've got to have now 10 years in date of the issue date of when you, this has caught so many people out this summer. Um, Simon Calder, the travel expert, Martin Lewis, have all been on at Ryanair saying it's so unfair what you're doing. They're saying they're following the rules. Some people say they're not. They're making up their own rules and they're ruining people's holiday. But the thing is, is the worst thing about it is, I know Gabby's gone on about this, is that they don't care. And there we are at the gate with Casper, for they know, well, we've spent thousands of pounds on this trip and the guy just had little, well, no, he had no remorse whatsoever. And so me and <laughs> Gabby got into a bit of a heated debate. You'll be able to see on the Travel Day video that I do um, to Lapland. It will, we won't all be in there, but some of it will be in there. Some of the bits that I recorded, but yes, he was doing his job, but he didn't need to be so mean about it or so non-understanding. Oh, we've got some more festive music playing here. Those purple lights look pretty good. Sounds like WestJet. How far from the airport is the village? Well, Caroline, you can actually walk. Um, hang on. You can actually walk from the airport here, but it is obviously very cold, so it's probably not a good idea to do it. Where I'm walking right now, this is, um, like I said, you could do everything in this village when you come to Lapland for the day. So you can do your reindeers, your huskies, and your snowmobiles. These are designed for kids though. So they're like really small. Love your videos, Tim. Place looks fab. Tina and Lee from Warrington. Hi guys, hope you're doing all right. Daniel, you say that, but right now unfortunately still do, you know, they're still the best for flights, aren't they? Now there's nobody around. Would be wrong to just have a walk through there. I know there's a little line going, no, no entry. Should we go? It's only just walking around that corner. It does look pretty, pretty pretty through the trees. Should we do it? What are we saying? Yes or no? I need a few more people to say yes. It's begging for me to do it. Who said no? Spoil sport. Ian, thank you so much. Love your vlogs. What trips are you planning for next year? Uh, watch the Christmas Eve live and you'll see. I will be live on Christmas Eve. I'll be doing lots of giveaways. There'll be lots of uh, festive chat. I'm waiting for someone to put no. <laughs> hey, look out. Look at this. This is just full on Christmas. This is so pretty. I think this is where you build, or you come with the elves or something, and uh, build toys. I will be quiet and let you hear the snow crunching underfoot. They did this last year, but they didn't do as many as this. This is, this is amazing. This is beautiful. I know if you've just tuned in and you're like, this is November, man, this is too much. And all this arrives to the building that says private. I think it's a little thing where you come and do a little workshop with the elves or something. But think about how much time it took them to put all the lights on these trees. And what's good about the snow is it hides all the wires. <laughs> 
for the plugs and for the leads. That is a lot of snow. How many thumbs up have we got? Can we have some more thumbs up for these festive Christmas trees right now? I'm on the naughty list now. I'm sure Santa will understand. That's what I mean. When you're here and then you go back to the UK that's dull and cloudy and, you know, it can get you a little bit low. So be prepared if you come to that plant to psych yourself up for going home. But just remember that you will have memories that will last you a lifetime. I know as corny as that sounds, but I came to Lapland about 20 odd years ago. Where am I now? Oh, right. 20 odd years ago, and, um, and I didn't come here. I went further north, but I, the experience I had, it was a day trip from Norwich Airport, and that um, will stay with me forever. It was so, it was so amazing. That was my first trip to Lapland. And even though this might be, you know, I consider myself as extremely lucky to have been able to have uh, come back here twice. It is so much more affordable now than it ever was. Yes, if you look to go and do prices now for this time of year, it's gonna be expensive. But if you plan to book for next year, I'll give you a tip book in or book for the middle to end of November because it is so much cheaper everything is still Christmassy I mean they get ready for Christmas in the end of October I think the Christmas tree goes up at the end of October or even in October sometimes in the capital so yeah definitely do that because it is worth it How much is a husky ride? Um, I don't know, I don't know the actual price. All I do know is that the excursions that you do here are quite expensive. 1.4K thumbs up. Can we get to 2K for the end of the stream? That'd be amazing. Cost you nothing to do. I'd have probably have loved this as a kid, but I'm too old for this now. Lynn, let me tell you, you are never too old. Until you f see this for yourself and you're, and you're fully immerse yourself in the experience, the child in you will come through as it does for every single adult that is here. What's great about, I forgot to mention as well, is here is there is sledges everywhere and they're free. So you can just get a sledge and take it with the kids. You don't have to rent them, and you thought being in this place you'd have to pay for that, but you don't. You just get them, rent, um, just take them anywhere basically, and then you just leave them. Which is, it's almost like those those bikes that you get with an app. Here, it's sledges, but you don't need an app. Rena, hi Rena. There is a live camera, we're just going back up here because I know a lot of people like to see this, and I was very quick up here earlier. Do they have a nudist section? No. Uh, Rosie Lee has become a member. Walk with me begin. I love your content. Any more New York vlogs coming up? Yes, Rosie. One's coming up Thursday. Look at that. We've got a little bit of festive music playing. Look at that. There's nobody here now. It is just me. So if you're um, one of these people that likes to check out the webcam whilst you watch the live, I'll stand here for a couple of seconds, or at least 20, 30 seconds, and you'll be able to see me. Feel free to screenshot it and tag me uh, on Instagram and Facebook, on Twitter. Do follow me on the socials as well. Feel free to hash, uh, do the hashtag. Um, visit Rovanemi even though I'm not affiliated with them but yes if you want to see the lap plan videos they'll be coming up in December so to get you even more in the mood there you go there's 60 C, 6, uh, 66 32 35 degrees Rovanemi in or just about in the Arctic Circle so we'll just come up here before we say goodbye Oh, thanks. What time is it in Lapland? It's nearly 11 o'clock. 
I know. Everybody is in bed. <laughs> is there a weight limit for Santa's knee? <laughs> I tell you, I bet Santa's knee must really hurt at the end of the day. Can you uh, please say hello to Cosmo? He's watching. I'll just show you the front of the resort. There's a petrol station over here, right? And if you do stay here, I suggest you go over there to get some snacks occasionally because it is so much cheaper. They do pizza over there for about eight euros. It's a very odd noise. I'm just going to show you the sign. This is a, a sign that a lot of people love to come and get their photos taken. And when you're here, and I did, I've only just discovered this, but there's something called Santa Park, which is, uh, it's been here for a few years, but it's another attraction, which is literally next door. It's also got a pretty cool restaurant as well. Thanks, Foxy B. Fab signal. Temperature's minus six, probably dropping to minus seven. There is snow forecast in a few hours. It's going to be um, very snowy apparently tomorrow. I've been here for 24 hours. Like I say, I'm absolutely, I was so upset, I can't tell you, when Gabby couldn't come and I went home with Gabby and Casper and Casper's little boots were in the car. I mean, I did have a tear, lots of tears actually. I probably haven't said that to Gabby, but I saw his little boots. Gabby, if you're still watching, his little boots are in the car. And obviously, Casper was supposed to... Mind you, he's so young, he wouldn't remember it anyway. So maybe it's probably a good thing, but... <laughs> it's also so blooming cold. Yummy mummy, is it expensive there? It is, but as I said, Ryanair now fly to Lapland. So maybe next year, or even this year, you can still get flights and actually you can stay in the city of Rovanemi which is about 10 minutes down the road and you can still stay there respectable prices actually sorry it's gonna get a bit windy hang on a lot of people love their photos next to this sign blowing over the car park. So I am staying in a, uh, a glass igloo. I got here late last night. It does have its own hot tub. So I'm trying to make the most of it. I was in there earlier filming for the video and I think that, uh, well, I've got to kind of jump in there for the last bit of today. It's now approaching 11 p.m. here in that band. Ooh. Hang on a sec. One moment. Just excuse the hat. Hopefully it's not too windy, which it is. It's probably not the best place to do it. Um, I just want to say, Massive thank you for joining me on the live stream. A lot of people said to me, if you do go back to that plant, please make sure you do a live. So this is for all you guys. It's been a real busy day. Like I said, I've been here for 24 hours trying to film the video, uh, rushing out to do the live. Hopefully go back, try and get some sleep before I get on the flight at like uh, 10 in the morning. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that supported the channel uh, with Super Chats, your mods, and of course your channel members want more information on how to become a channel member of course it's free to subscribe and watch the videos but if you'd like to personally support the channel and get a little bit more out of the community have a look in the description there will be a video from my time here but if you can't wait for that there is also a video on the channel now uh, I think it's called I visit a Santa themed holiday park in Lapland if you want to get your full immersive experience of the whole place 
of where I stayed last year, go and check it out. I'm gonna go and jump in the hot tub now to get myself warmed up before I go to bed. Probably have about four or five hours sleep before I gotta get up. Don't, I'm not asking for sympathy. But yes, I can't feel my face anymore, or my teeth, or my nose. My teeth? I don't know why I said that. I can't even talk properly. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you on Thursday as we're back in New York, okay, just for a couple more videos, and then full on Christmas, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave you with a shot of this lovely little Christmas tree. Good night, everyone. I can't feel my finger to turn this off.